Good morning, friends. It's Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. Today is a Friday, which means it's my second day at work. It's coming to 8 o'clock. I spent my night here in the city of, I think it's called, let me see if I can figure out what the name is, Russell's or Russo. Russoville, Russoville in Arkansas. I'm heading to Bentoville. I have a Sam's load with me. Yesterday started out a little interesting because I had they had given me a load going to a store and then I was supposed after delivering that load I was supposed to go pick up from Dallas and then head to Bentoville. But something came up and we had to rescue a driver uh, from Sashi. Uh, there was something, um, an emergency that came up. And so they canceled those loads. They told me to deadhead, just got an empty. Uh, and then I, I deadheaded with another driver to Sashi. I dropped off that driver so that he can be able to pick up the other driver with his truck. So the driver that I took to Sachi was going to drive this other driver that we are rescuing uh, back to Sachi. There was a problem that, um, of course, I can't go into, into that. But um, that's how I ended up in in Arkansas. making myself I want to make myself a burrito here I have I made myself I came with some probably you guys can't see this but it's omelette I'm gonna put it in a tortilla it's almost gonna be like a breakfast burrito because this is omelette but I um, I delivered that load at Sam's Club then I picked up an empty I'm now here in Bentonville uh, I just got a, a load on me. When I got here, they didn't have any load on me, but I had received a message from Sanga that our washer, uh, the washing bay is down. So I figured since there is a washing bay here, I'll run my truck through there. Even though this is the second day, at least some of the dirt can get off. If I get an opportunity to go to another DC and they have um, a washing bay, I will do the same thing. If I come back here, in case somehow I end up coming back here tomorrow, I'll still wash, uh, go through it. The idea 
is that by the time I get to my day off on Monday, at least the truck won't be that that dirty. Uh, I'm not sure when they will have our washing bay fixed. But right now, I'm going to go to... They've given me a lot going to Wichita in Kansas. And then from there, I have a lot that will be picking up from there, going to slow um, Where is that? Siloam Springs in Arkansas, coming back this side. So I'm going to try and see if I can get this load. This load is supposed to deliver tomorrow. I'm going to try and get it there today. Hopefully pick up my pallets. And tomorrow, then I'll, I'll take the pallets. If not, I just get there with this load then in the morning uh, deliver it and then pick up the pallets. The pallets deliver also tomorrow. I think they are supposed to be there like on Sunday, but I can deliver them tomorrow. So where are my tortillas? Okay, got me some tortillas. I'm gonna make myself a quick burrito and then get on my way. Good morning, good morning. Uh, today is Saturday, my third day of the week. Yesterday I was able to get to uh, Wichita where I dropped off that, that load. Good enough, my empties, uh, <coughs> not my empty, my pallets were ready. So I picked up the pallet load and there is a pilot that I drove to where I am right now. This is where I spent the night. So it's about, um, how many? I have about 190 miles to go to get to my destination where I'm taking the pallets. Uh, so right now I'm in, uh, the city is called Tonkawa. I think that's how they they pronounce it. Tonkawa. I'm in Oklahoma, but I'm gonna end up in. I'm gonna end up back in Arkansas, where I'm gonna drop off the pile, uh, the pallets, and then we'll see what they have for me. It's a little bit chilly outside today, so looks like we are putting summer behind. Let me see what the weather is right here where I am. It's about 60 degrees. All right, so I'm not yet hungry. That means I'm going to start heading down there. If I get hungry, I will stop and fix me something to eat.
so it turns out they don't have an empty here um i got in touch with uh uh the people that you know like give us loads so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bobtail to our dc in bentoville pick up an empty and then go for my pickup uh if that wasn't the case i would have got an empty from here go for my pickup that heads back to sanga so right now i'm gonna head to our dc and then from there I head to the pickup. Good morning. Uh, the time right now is 10.45. I'm in Sangha. So, uh, yesterday I did not spend the, uh, the night here in Sangha. I got here at about, what time did I get here? Wow, that is close. I'm looking at somebody backing up, but he backed up so close to the table. Anyway, um, uh, what happened? I spent the night, I got here at about nine o'clock, a little, a little over nine o'clock, I think. Maybe like 9.03 or 9.05, something like that, uh, this morning. I spent the night in Atoka. I think that's how they pronounce the name. Um, I was, uh, there's a pilot that I was trying to get parking at, but I couldn't get parking at that particular pilot. Uh, it was already full. So uh, luckily, opposite, opposite the pilot, uh, we have a Walmart. And so we can park there. That's where I parked. So like I parked at the Walmart, uh, just cross the road to go take a shower and then cross back and then this morning I got here uh, yesterday yesterday what happened yesterday ended up in um, I took a load I think the last time I don't remember the last time I talked to you but I picked up in a place it's called Bonville Bonville or something like that somewhere in Arkansas. It was my second time picking up from that place. Um, the first time I picked up from there, because I didn't know what to expect, it was like kind of, I'm like, oh man, this place. But this time, uh, because I knew what to expect, I was okay. You know, like when you're going there, you get on, you get off of the 71 and then you take the 10. That 10, <clears throat> You are on it for, I don't know, maybe about 20 miles or so. I don't remember. But the thing with it is uh, one of those highways that are really in the mountains. And it's just a two-way, you know, like one, uh, one lane going the other side, another lane coming this side. It's narrow. It opens up in some places where, you know, like it's kind of hilly, I guess. Because of the tracks, they open it up so you can use the right lane and people can pass you if they want to. Uh, but it's kind of narrow, it's windy. And then there is a city, there's a city, I forget the name of the city, where you go and it's kind of like a, a funny, it has uh, that funny place where you have to, 
to make some tight turns. They're not really very tight. They're not tight, actually. They're okay, but it's just that it's narrow. Uh, and then coming back, I think going is kind of okay because you are empty, but coming back and you have that heavy load and their loads are heavy, you know, like they are about 40,000 uh, pounds. So, you know, like going with them up hills and then going down hills while the road is widening, it's kind of a challenge. But um, this time it wasn't as it was the first time because I was kind of expecting it. So by the time I closed down yesterday, I had maybe like 15 minutes remaining on my clock. So right now, they just got me a load going to Dallas. It's a Sam's Club load. That's where I'm going to go and we'll see what they will have for me after that. I'm back in Sanga and um, for some reason they had just put a load on me. Uh, I was just going to get an empty and deadhead to Baytown, pick up a load from there, bring it back here. So that was going to be about 600 miles round trip, uh, more than 600 miles round trip, right? So with the hours left, I was just going to go get a place to rest somewhere. And then in the morning, pick up, bring it back. And when I came, when I come back here, maybe have a, a short run and then go home. For some reason, they pulled it off of me and I'm now waiting to see what they're going to put on me. So hopefully I get a better one because I had liked that one. Because I just have to drive to Bay Town, pick up, bring it back. We'll see what they're going to put on me now. Good morning, good morning. It's another new day. We thank God for it. This is the day that he has made. We are going to rejoice. We are going to be glad in it. I'm starting out with breakfast, which is very rare. Usually I will drive like for an hour or two. And then I stop to get my breakfast. But I was feeling hungry. I'm like breakfast first. I'm having a croissant sandwich. So the omelette that I brought, I just sandwiched it in the croissant and a cup of tea, just made myself a cup of tea. That's my breakfast. I spent the night here uh, in Houston. They ended up giving me back that load that uh, they had taken away from me. They just took it off and then put it back on. So I drove and I was able to make it here in Houston. I'm at the Flying J. Uh, I have about 50 miles to go to get to my destination, which is Baytown. Pick up a load from there and head back to Sanga.
it's time to go home i just made it back from from bay town today it's almost like the entire day has been um full of traffic from the time i got on the freeway heading to bay town and then coming back here it's just been like full of traffic everywhere uh but i'm glad i'm back home i'm back um i'm back at the yard so right now i'm just gonna pack up my stuff unfortunately i cannot i cannot clean out the truck i mean i can't clean the outside of the truck for whoever drives this truck because uh the the washing machine i keep on calling it the washing machine i guess it is the truck wash uh is down so the person who owns the truck may not like to find it dirty but if the if they start while the machine is still down they probably will understand that i had no choice other than that i'm grateful that the week is done i want to try and get home before my i don't know if i will make it but i want to try and get home before my girls go to bed because today is my daughter's birthday and so i'd love to to see her before where is that i'd love to see her before she gets in bed but if i don't i'll get to see her in the morning but i pray that i see her tonight before before she gets to bed all right, my friends, until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye. Yeah, driver success, yeah, this is driver success. Sharing my life, my life, it's as real as it gets. Keep my faith in my creator, he is my navigator. So tell me if you ready, cause you know I'm rolling steady. A husband, father, Christian and truck driver. Telling you my story and the world through my eyes. So keep the faith, keep the faith. let's keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. And this is driver success, yeah. Uh, let's go.